Taurus. Hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your weekly reading for the week of Monday the 23rd to the 29th of August 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. Let's begin here. Taurus. You get number 50, Rhino Spirit, overcome any obstacle. Love that. You know, instead of banging your head against a brick wall and waiting for it to crumble, maybe have a look around, see if there's any other directions that you can go and um, divert off course and save that headache. Love that. I'm also saying, don't let things stand in your way. And you get number 44, Mother of the Sea, Goddess. I surrender to the boundless creative flow of the ocean. And that flow may take you on those detours. So be it. And um, go with that flow. So love it, Taurus. Brilliance. Let's see what you get here for the week. fell out we're gonna go with those overall eight of Pentacles very hard-working very focused very dedicated paying attention to all the minor details there but constantly hard work maybe a no play but allow yourself to shift this vision around a bit and um, see what else is on offer and um, yeah see where those dive where those um obstacles may lead you to going on those other paths but being able to see those past energies ten of pentacles two of swords the tower came to a crossroads situation i think there's some sort of successful outcome for something in the past and uh, you know wanting to shift that goal post but that then left you in the um crossroads situation of trying to decide which journey you're going to go Maybe that was that overcome any obstacle there. You know, releasing the energy that you don't need. Going for this brand new beginning, building your foundation solid there, making it successful, but at the same time being aware of where each path may actually lead you to. Present energies, Eight of Wands, the High Priestess, Four of Pentacles. Making sure everyone's on the same page. The communication needs to be open, honest, flowing. Maybe some decisions that need to be made quickly. There's something that you're not wanting to release here, whether it's something or someone. And um, it's causing you to maybe just not want to let your guard down too much, not want to be over overwhelmed by things that are happening around you. But at the same time, High Priestess, very observant, watching what's going on around and being aware future energies you've got the prince of wands princess of pentacles justice yep you know where you want to be heading towards it's possibly an offer to work with you here collaboration maybe a job offer maybe somebody just wanting to make a successful go of things with you and get that justice get that sweet justice good karma fair outcome for the hard work you've put in which you have here overall for the week and letting that success and that reward come through down here and um, to get there you may need to overcome any obstacles with rhino spirit and go with the flow with that mother of the sea so taurus love that let's do the clarifications Right, starting with the Eight of Pentac Pentacles. I've just said on Virgo, I s say just about every reading I've done this week, I've dropped the cards, they've all fallen on the floor. For 
just about every reading I've done <laughs> so this week I'm just all over the place but take two of shuffling eight of pentacles overall for the week you get the two of wands queen of cups two of pentacles look at that balance the two twos either side of this queen of cups this loving nurturing energy and there's balance here each side you know where you want to be going towards and what you want to head towards it is a constant juggle you've got to put in that hard work but again make sure that you're still aware of what's going on around you especially with that queen of cups there might be opportunities that you don't want to miss <laughs> Ten of Cups in the Past Energies, Taurus, you get the Wheel of Fortune, Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups. Yeah, there's love here. You may be offering love, somebody may be offering love to you, but you're already back here to take action on that offer, and it may have actually brought you um, a great outcome here. That Wheel of Fortune pushing you forward and you clarifying Ten of Pentacles success. So love that too. But when you're taking that action, do you think it through? Do think it through clearly of what's uh, going on. Love it. Two of Swords. You get the Princess of Cups, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Look at that for a power couple back there. With this offer of love, maybe taking a more direct upfront approach towards something or someone. If it is um, someone offering love here, using your head over your heart, thinking it through clearly and logically, but willing to take action and get things happening. Beautiful. And you've got the tower. There's that Ten of Pentacles again, Princess of Wands, Eight of Wands, which you have next in your present energies and the underlying. So yeah, and success here. Okay, you're very compassionate, very giving energy, but again, making sure that everyone's on the same page, making decisions clearly and, um, and successfully, and letting the energy go that you don't need on that journey. So you come into your present energies, this Eight of Wands. Wow, six of wands, nine of pentacles, ace of pentacles, success, victory, win, <laughs> love that, right there for the taking, ready to start a brand new chapter, brand new journey, a successful new beginning here, and um, you know, as I said, may have reached this goalpost, and now going to this next, um, shifting that goalpost out a little bit further again, and going for that, but there's a lot of success there, a lot of victory, see dropping them on the floor but love that and a brand new successful beginning brand new chapter to be had and chasing next next goal or, or heading to that next goal post high priestess you get the nine of wands four of cups seven of wands yeah there's always hurdles and obstacles rhino spirit overcome any obstacles but look at the obstacles rather than just being focused tunnel visioned here Shift your vision around and see the other obstacles, see the other detours possible to be taken. But there's persistence here, not giving up, not quitting. And that may be on yourself, it may be on others, maybe on something. But um, that persistent attitude um, brings you to that successful um, outcome and as well allows you to have that intuitive energy. And... Um, and pursue that next goal love it so four of pentacles these three fell out you get the lovers nine of swords king of pentacles somebody significant soulmate twin flame um maybe causing a few sleepless nights because you're not able to release something or someone and um, causing a bit of stress and anxiety here it may be that somebody's significance on this journey and helps make this a successful outcome and bringing an end to those sleepless nights and the stress and anxiety and helps release the energy that's um that somebody is hanging on to here maybe an existing relationship it may be meeting somebody extremely brand new but um might be taking that love to heal those that look at these cards that um overthinking energy right there but you do have a successful outcome with that with the king of pentacles so into your future energies taurus you get prince of wands you've got the five of pentacles the empress two of cups you may be very aware that you've been left out of a situation blocked or isolated here 
and you may be very aware that love's on this journey with you to help push you forward to warmer energy so love that and that warmer energy you've got that vision you know where you want to be heading towards and it might be taking two of you now um, you had that lovers back there and now you've got the two of cups that's on this journey pushing you forward to that warmer energy going with that flow so Prince of, Princess of Pentacles, you get the Knight of Wands, Temperance, and the Six of Swords. Could be dealing with the Sagittarius, but holding that vision. Quite a rocky ride. May still be obstacles that get thrown up in front of you, but doing things in moderation. Keeping that movement happening and keeping it balanced as well. Not letting things become too overwhelming and moving forward with that Six of Swords, even if it's done in secret. But you're clarifying that Princess of Pentacles, somebody on this journey with you. And it may just be love is on that journey with you. You come out with justice. Who doesn't like that? Could be dealing with the Libra. You've got the Devil, Two of Swords, Six of Cups. Yeah, we felt like at a crossroads because there's this energy, um, negative energy or toxic energy. Could be an addiction of some sort, whether it's within or somebody close to you. But it keeps hanging around, keeps niggling away. It may also be a past relationship. Somebody wanting to come back and claim some of the success with you. And it's causing you to be feel like you're at a crossroads. What, what decision do I make here? But you know what's right for you and um, bring you to bring you out with that justice, to bring you out with that fair outcome, whatever that is. But um, that justice may very well just start breaking up that devil energy there which is in your future energy so it may still be coming that justice but um, going with the flow with that mother of the sea and let that happen naturally there so let's see I'm not taking those ones yet because I didn't even really shuffle right let's see what the universe has to say got one more after this my shuffling week will be finished except for the quick fire reading on the weekend Right, oh, and I'm upside down. Six of Pentacles. <laughs> Get some balance here. Yeah. King of Cups and the Lovers. <laughs> Yeah, when it comes to the soulmate, twin flame, somebody significant, very strong emotional attachment here, but make sure that it is equal give and take. If someone's doing all the giving, that means someone else is doing all the taking. So yes, it's on this journey with you. Yes, it's a very strong emotional attachment here. Um, getting control of your emotions, but make sure that things are balanced out. And we finish with Open to Spirit Oracle. You are a natural healer. Work with your lights. Beautiful. Love that. Even if that's healing yourself. Okay. And that's it. Maybe from this energy here. But being able to heal this energy from that. But Taurus, that's what I have for you for the week. Do hope it helped. If you click the subscribe button down there. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you all next time. See ya. Bye.